Good morning, this is Don Lee from Building Management at Erie Community College, and I am going to attempt to show you our labs really quickly. Hey, Mr. Anastasi and Mr. Anastasi students. Um, we have several different programs here. We have our main one is a two year building trades, building management degree. It's an associate's degree. Um, and then we have three one year programs. One is in building trades to sort of just get your feet wet and see if this is a good program for you. And then we have one in HVAC and we have one in green building technology. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you our shops and our different space. So here's our carpentry shop. Um, you know, probably really similar to the things you have in your shop. Um, we can see down here our subdivision that's starting to develop uh, in our carpentry labs and some of our storage. And now I'm gonna slowly make my way through our subdivision here where people are working on various parts. This guy's looking really good, finishing up. And I am traveling now into the plumbing tool room. Yay, parts and plumbing and all of that. And now I'm gonna come into the lab. So we've got a whole series of different trainers. We're coming along. And here are some of the other trainers. Uh, nice thing is you're working with stuff that's all brand new, never used before. Hey, I've done a lot of plumbing and I can't say that I've ever been able to use a whole bunch of new stuff, usually repairs. All right, so we're coming on in and here are all the various trainers. And this is the small classroom area where our plumbing instructor teaches. Most of our rooms are smart rooms. You can see the projector. So we're working off PowerPoint. You can see standard threading tools and so on. So uh, one beauty about taking our plumbing class, if you aren't trained in that at your BOCES right now, is uh, so much of plumbing is really relatively easy to do. I always jokingly say, it's like putting together a puzzle where you have to go and buy all the parts to get it together. So the next lab we're coming into, this is a print reading and one of our two computer labs. And again, um, a couple classes I teach in here, I, I teach print reading, I teach one of our two estimating classes in here. And again, it's also a smart classroom. And the nice thing in here is we have a computer lab attached as well. And we're gonna work our way back out of this classroom. We're gonna go back through the carpentry lab. We have some other tools in the carpentry lab that are interesting and fun to play with. We have a variety of metalworking tools because we also teach heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. And here is a brake and a shear, and we've got a seamer, and we've got a variety of other tools for making up um, the various parts for duct work and so on. So now we're sliding into our electrical lab. We teach electrical one and electrical two. Electrical one has to do with standard house wiring and light commercial wiring. And then electrical systems two has to do with the DC side of things, you know, controllers, thermostats, fire suppression systems, and so on. And as I walk along here, I'm gonna come in and this is our, this is our office. Um, our secretary's not in today. She's working at home. You know the COVID deal. Not everybody's here all the time. But these are our different offices. This is where most of our instructors kind of hang out while we're not teaching our classes or doing our grades and so on. Coming back through the electrical lab and now I'm going to walk down into what we sometimes call the mud room. This is where we do a lot of masonry work and a lot of very, very dirty um, applications in our programs. And I've got some students working in here, just a few of them. And they're working on some concrete block along with some brick veneer. And again, lots of stuff going on in here. Our masonry tools. We also do some steel stud construction. This class is what we refer to as building systems two. Um, our Building Systems 1 class, where most of you as BOCE students um, would very likely get credit for that class and maybe one other. And again, come into another tool storage room where we keep a variety of different items. 
for our classes. Coming on out here. Alright, so now we're gonna take a walk out of uh, G50 or AKA the mudroom and I'm gonna come down the hallway uh, where I'm gonna show you a variety of our other um, our other rooms. Um, we, we're in a really old building so we endlessly have other contractors coming in and repairing things. And as we're coming down the hall Here's that first computer lab and estimating print reading lab I was showing you. And we actually have several other labs. The next one we're coming up on is another uh, smart classroom and computer lab. We have a bunch of different proprietary software, um, especially an HVAC, um, something called Simutech, where you can literally sit down at a computer station and work through simulations of various heating and cooling and heat pump problems. I'm gonna come down to our last couple rooms that we have here. And so, a little trainer built a while ago. And this is one of our two open smart rooms. Uh, we teach a lot of the green technology classes in here. And here's some of the past student work Sort of some interesting kind of work. This one is uh, a study in rammed earth and straw bale, core wood construction, and something called earth ships. Really weird uh, form of architecture uh, that's generally, they use various garbage. Tires are used for the main walls, rammed with earth. Here's an approach, sip panels and various natural materials. Here's a intense look into insulation and the various types and its various usages. And if we're coming along over here, I've got something else. What's this? Is this one straw bale construction or? No, this one's talking about the building envelope and thermal bridging and so on. And I think my last one over here is about very sustainable construction, straw bale, rammed earth and so on. And then I've got one last room to show you. And this is um, our green building technology room, green technology lab. And so we've got a variety of different trainers. This is a ground-based heat pump. Very common installation in places in Europe. Germany, about 95% of the new homes has a solar array and a heat pump. Hey, speaking of solar arrays, there's one. And here's a windmill trainer. Here's a little student project where they were using um, building cordwood walls. And here is a plumbing trainer. Um, this is for secondary water system, or sometimes what they refer to as a gray water system. And here's an example of some straw bale construction. And then that's parged clay with a little bit of cement mixed into it, a little bit of uh, Portland cement to mix in. Here's another type of uh, solar hot water trainer. And again, here's another solar hot water trainer of a different type. Here's another windmill trainer. And again, this is also a smart class technology room. And very often the heating systems classes are taught in here as well. Here's an interesting trainer. Um, this is a fuel cell technology trainer using hydrogen to produce electricity. So that's all of our spaces. And as I'm sort of walking on out of here, um, I'd like to explain that we also, not in this building, but on this campus, we have an HVAC heating lab. And so if I might get a chance to get over there, I might try to add it to this. But um, if you talk to your instructor, Mr. Anastasi, he can explain a fair amount about our program. Uh, and feel free to get a hold of me, Don Lee, and um, I'll do what I can. 
to try to get you more interested in our program. I'm going to come back into the computer lab and slowly work my way back into the wood shop, my favorite place, because I'm one of the carpentry teachers here, along with Mr. Anastasi. He teaches for us in the evenings. But I kind of want to explain a couple things um, about coming to school at SUNY Erie, or as we all call it, ECC. Um, there's a lot of different programs here if you're interested in construction and the related trades. For example, um, we have a program at South Campus in architectural technology. So if you were interested in designing buildings, that might be a program that you're interested in. You learn AutoCAD, you learn about building codes and things like that. And here I am back at my mirror. Um, so that's one thing. So that's like, you don't have to come to necessarily our program. The other thing you might wanna consider is at North Campus. North Campus has a construction technology and an engineering program. So if you're you know more interested in new construction, um, you might be interested in that program over there. Or if your math is fairly good and you want to kind of get something a little more challenging, you might look at the construction technology programs um, and so on. And then, so at South Campus, they have architectural technology where they design buildings. At North Campus, they have construction management and construction engineering and civil engineering programs for building new. And then our program is really based on buildings that are already existing. And again, our program, our main program is a two-year AOS degree. Uh, in, this, in the first year, we deal with carpentry, building systems one. We deal with masonry and commercial construction and building systems two. I've mentioned electrical systems one, electrical systems two already. There's a plumbing systems class. We do a blueprint reading class. And there are two different um, applied math classes where we start to learn about how to take measurement and the various geometry, linear, surface area, uh, and volume, and we mix them together so we can learn and estimate how much of the stuff we need. And then in the second estimating class, we go a little bit beyond that and we start to look at things like how much does everything cost using a variety of different methods, one of which is cost books. Um, in our second year, then we're gonna move on to some other classes where we're looking at things like energy management, maintenance management, property management. We also get into heating systems one, we get into heating systems two. Heating systems one is more along the lines of residential heating systems and cooling systems. We also have an air conditioning class um, and so, few other classes. We have a couple of classes that wrap everything together. Um, we have classes, uh, one's called maintenance programs, where it's sort of the, one of the last classes you take, where it looks at all these different trades and how do they relate and work into one building alone and how do you manage it. We also have something called energy management, where we learn how to do energy audits uh, to for existing buildings. And that's all about figuring out what ways can we do to save money? What equipment can we bring to be more efficient? Is insulation or air sealing new windows or doors or new equipment um, to save us money? So really, that's all I got right now for you. And I'm trying to see, I'm just under 15 minutes right now. So if you have any other questions, uh, please have either your counselors or Mr. Anastasi get a hold of me and I'd be very happy to talk to you in person. Thanks so much for putting up with me and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.